Welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this one, we're going to show you how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, as always, we're going to make this a new class. So we go to File, or sorry, a new project even. Go to New Project, Java, Java Application, hit Next. We'll let this save right there. Probably delete it soon anyways. In this project name, we're going to call it Celsius to Fahrenheit. Sorry, that project already exists. I, this is my second take on a video. So we'll call it Celsius to Fahrenheit 2. Make sure uh, create main class is unchecked and hit finish. Alright, now we'll open this. Just hit the plus by Celsius to Fahrenheit. It'll be in the top left. And then hit the plus by source packages. Right click default packages. New Java class. Then the class name, we'll call it Temperature Converter. Class name has to be capitalized, so we'll make sure T is capitalized. Hit Finish. We don't need any of this info up here, so we'll backspace that. Uh, one thing that you do need with most programs is you need to import some kind of... So you need to import something. So, for this program, we type in import at the very top. You type this in above the class name. java.util.star Whenever you hit a star in the imports, it imports everything that's underneath that star. Anything that can fill in that place. And then you finish off with a semicolon. Alright, undo your class. Type in public static void main string args Arg stands for arg arguments, or you could be quick about it and type in PSVM tab. This is the main class. It's going, I'm sorry, the main method. It's going to run everything inside our program. Uh, after your last curly brace there, or sorry, your second last, the one associated with main, see how they're both highlighted, you want to make a comment by hitting the question mark key twice without hitting shift. It brings up two slashes. And you just type in whatever you want your comment to be. The program will actually skip over this and this won't be read at all. So I'm going to type in main so I can keep track of where everything is. This is mainly important for bigger programs and not ones this small. Then you go down to the class. And I'm going to type in class so that I know where everything's associated with. Alright, at the beginning of this program, I'm going to... Well, at the end of this program, we're going to be calculating uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. We're going to convert it. So I need to, de to declare two variables. Uh, whenever you're calculating a variable with a decimal, you're going to want to use a double. So instead of that, it's just like a number class. So I type in double. And then I want to call my first variable degrees in Celsius. So I type in degrees in Celsius, semicolon. And then I also want to name one degrees in Fahrenheit. So double degrees in Fahrenheit, semicolon. All right, so we have our two variable names. And next, we are going to make a scanner. The scanner is what you use to actually input data into the computer. So to do that, we type in scanner space input equals new scanner. Start some parentheses system dot in. After the scanner, we need to tell the user to input something. So it's system.out.println, or S-O-U-T, tab. It's kind of like typing shout without the H. And then you tell the user whatever you want inside these print, uh, quotation marks. I'm going to say, enter degrees in Celsius, because that's what we want to convert. And then leave a little space there so that the, so it looks nice and neat. You'll see at the end. We go down a line, and 
uh, the user is going to enter degrees in Celsius, so we go to our variable degrees in Celsius equals input dot next, and the data type for this is a double, which is exactly what Java is suggesting for us. So we're going to capitalize double, and that with parentheses, open close right away, and a semicolon. So now the user it is going to have input what we need it to. We're going to go down a couple lines, make a comment so that we know what we're doing. And again, this isn't really needed in a program this small, but it's a habit that you want to get in right away if you're just starting out. So after the this comment, you want to type in calculate, spelled that wrong, calculate degrees in Fahrenheit. All right, so the computer is going to skip over that line since it's a comment. So I'm going to set my degrees in Fahrenheit equal to my degrees in Celsius times 9 divided by 5, and we're going to add 32. That's just what the way you calculate that. Hit enter. Sorry, there is something wrong with this. Looks like I may have spelled something wrong. Oh, I spelled it fair and hit at the very top here. So that's the problem. Alright, now everything's spelled right and it's not popping up with an error message. Right, so that we've calculated the degrees in Fahrenheit. We're going to tell it to output that. So system.out.println. Then we'll put a little message for the user. Degrees in Fahrenheit are. And then after we end this print statement, it, since we want to print this all in the same line, I've already typed print line right here. That means that it's only going to print this on one line. So I type in plus degrees in Fahrenheit. So that will put all this on one line, and I will have the one space between the colon here and my actual answer. All right, the program looks good to me. So we're going to hit, hit Shift F6. You could also go to Run at the top. That Shift F6 is easier to hit. My computer has compiled the code, and it's telling me to enter the degrees in Celsius. An uh, easy one that most people can convert is zero degrees in Celsius. And it's telling me that is 32.0 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll check this with one more thing. 100 degrees in Celsius, we'll go for boiling point 100, and this should give us 212. Degrees in Fahrenheit are 212, so the program works. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.